Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, I'm going to go back at the dust collection battle. Uh, if you remember a few weeks ago, I posted a video making my shop back dust collection setup up here in the upper shop, which has worked out really well. It uses a central vac uh, fittings of pipe. So if you want to check that out, I'll put a link in the description. Now in this video here, I want to go down to the lower end of the shop and add a similar type of dust collection with the shop vac, which is going to be located right down here. And it's plumbed up and around right across here and I want uh, overhead dust collection arm for the table saw. So that's what we're gonna do today in this video. All right, so like I said before, the material I'm gonna use for this table saw dust collection is uh, PVC shop vac or central vac piping. So it's really cheap and affordable. You get it at all the hardware stores and that's why I decided to use it. Now to get started, I put a slit right down the center of it on just one side of that pipe so I can fit it over the riving knife. And then I'll shape out the blade as close as I can or trace out the blade, making sure that the PVC pipe is gonna stay above the table saw blade. And then I cut that out on the bandsaw. And I just had to recut that bandsaw cut because as you can see, I didn't pay attention to making sure that this was perpendicular to the blade and it's just kind of off a little bit. So I recut it making sure that this lands in the center. So I really wanted to shape one end to make almost like a nozzle to form around the table saw blade. So I decided to heat it up just a little bit with a, a blowtorch and it got soft super quick. So you really don't need a lot of heat here. And then I just kind of formed it to what I thought would work best. And as soon as it cools down, it goes right back to its original hardness. All right, so I'm going to connect the nozzle to the riving knife in two locations. One right up there on the nose of it with a little number 10 screw and a wing nut. And then back further, I can actually use a 516 T nut to fasten on that end. And the reason why I chose a T nut is because it's really flat on one side. And that will just allow me to get that fence even a little bit closer without anything getting in the way. All right, so now that's all bolted up to my driving knife, you can kind of see that it's a little bit shaky. And I think what we'll tighten that up is to heat this up a little bit more right here and pinch that right against the driving blade. That way there I'll be able to tighten this up because all that slack is right there in the front. All right, so pinching the nozzle tight against a riving knife made a big difference on how stable and sturdy it feels now. But I do want to give a quick little disclaimer here that fastening any of your table saw like this does add a certain amount of danger because there's always that potential of it falling off into the blade. So, you know, please do this project at your own risk and just make sure that there's you eliminate any possibility of that happening. So once you get the nozzle connected to the riving knife, plumbing it in couldn't be simpler. I just added a 90 coupling and a short piece of pipe. And then I also bought a piece of flex line, which was also in the central vac department of the hardware store. And that just connects with a couple uh, hose clamps. Now I didn't glue any of the fittings together. That way there I'll be able to just take it apart and I'll hang that end up at the ceiling whenever I'm not using it. And the other end, all I gotta do is take those two bolts off and that can be stored away. All right, so a shop vac is really ideal for this type of dust collection because it has a really high velocity, which will help get that dust out of the saw blade rotation. 
Here you can see with the dust collection off, all that dust is just flying out of the blade and coming right back at me, which is pretty typical with an MDF. So when I turn the dust collection on, which I just use one of these remote starts, you can see that it really collects a large portion of that dust. So I couldn't be happier with this, and if you like this project, please give me a thumbs up. And if this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. I'm Ryan Nodwell. Thanks for watching.